Hey, what's up guys, Bobo Rail here, and today I've got your usual breakdown for Isanzo's 20th dev blog. So last week we learned about the Engineer class and some of the different defenses they can construct, chief among them being Barbed Wire, which just so happens to be the focus of this week's dev blog as well. So to start, in Isanzo there are three different kinds of Barbed Wire, Player Built Wire, Weak Point Wire, and Pre-Built Wire. All of these are functionally similar in the effect against your character in that just as in the older games, it will slow and injure you significantly, leaving you completely open to enemy fire. There are key differences in the functionality of all three however. Pre-built is the strongest of them all, and it's too thick to be removed by the attackers. It's stagnant in its placement and stays with the map's design, blocking off large areas of land to focus people into choke points. Dotted throughout these lines of pre-built, there is the weak point wire, which can be cut and will act as small marked objectives on the minimap. Once destroyed by the attackers, the defenders can rebuild what was destroyed, but that can of course be cut back again if the area is reclaimed by the attackers. The final type of wire is the player built, which come in two types, and they can be freely placed around the map. The first type is the A-frame style, also known as the Phrygian horse, and the other is the traditional spool. Both of these types have separate build limits in the building UI, so it's important to make use of both varieties. Functionality wise, this can be used to fill in gaps in the line, block off sections of trenches, or just slow an enemy's advance from a weakly defended area. Either way, I can't wait to get my hands on the game to be able to see player built structures like these in action. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. This has been Bobo Rail from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.